Today we are here at Cicada Innovations for the MDCTP 2019 Graduate Program. Cicada Innovations is Australia's home of deep technology. We can influence the firing rate of the spinal cord. Now it's been shown to improve outcomes in chronic pain. It's never been tried for spasticity and we will be the first to do that. We have already obtained $6 million in seed funding to, to carry out our first clinical trial in 30 patients. That will You're a plastic surgeon. That's right, I am. Um, but I'm also uh, developing a medical device, which is why I'm here tonight at the Medical Device Commercialization Training Program graduation evening. So it was a, uh, it's been a long few months, but I also wear a different hat as a medical device developer. So as a graduate of this program, how are you finding it? How has it helped your research? It's revolutionized my way of thinking about what it is that I'm trying to do. Ultimately, as a researcher, your goal is to public, make publications or to try and advance uh, knowledge or science. But in medical device land, really what we're trying to do is to create new products for patients and get better outcomes. So to do that, we have to think more like business people and less like researchers. Locally, we have more than 6,000 presentations to Australian public hospitals alone. Outside of hospitals, these patients are seen visiting a range of clinicians. Yet not a single one of them gets treated for restoring blinking. Instead, we have six Medicare reimbursed procedures in place to treat the complications of not blinking. And each one of these requires its own dedicated training. The blink device can effectively replace this damage control strategy, this old strategy with a single hospital-based procedure. It's uh, quite an innovative uh, approach to fixing a very old problem in facial paralysis. Uh, it's a, an implantable device, uh, a mechanical device, that uh, restores movement, in particular the eyelid, um, in patients with facial nerve paralysis. I'm Dr. Tracy Duddingbyth, a clinical geneticist from Hunter Health. Part of my role is seeing parents who've spent years searching for a diagnosis to explain why their child has intellectual disability. As half of our patients have facial features which provide a clue to diagnosis, we developed FaceMatch, which is a computer vision technology which uh, is used to match the faces of children uh, who are undiagnosed, trying to facilitate early diagnosis and to discover new genes. We work very closely with Cicada following our innovative um, program, the Medical Devices Fund, and we found that what we needed was to really support the industry and the young players, but whether they're clinicians or inventors, in trying to understand the whole commercialisation pathway. And this came out of uh, a need um, when we saw very much the various players who were going to the Medical Devices Fund that required support and Cicada were successful in a tendering process to provide the, this, this product, which is phenomenal. Yeah, and you know, tonight this is my first chance to see the culmination of this three-month program and what I love about it is there's a couple of things. First of all, the, uh, the New South Wales government has had the foresight to invest in this and to invest in like young researchers that are doing amazing things but actually taking their dream and their research and turning it into a, re a reality and a solution that is going to help people. At the end of the day, it's great to have research and it's great to have innovation, but it if it doesn't have an, an outcome that benefits people and humanity in a positive direction, you know, we're really not changing the world in the way that we want to. And tonight I saw uh, 15 um, showcase companies that are all completely viable, that all have the opportunity to have an impact not just on New South Wales um, and the health and well-being of our citizens here, but actually the health and well-being of people globally. And I think that's a story that needs to be told. There is in phenomenal depth and wealth of talent and skill and ability, and this collaboration is bringing all those sectors together. And I think it's really critical that we do come together. No one of us can do this on our own. It really is a collaboration. But what the graduates from this program go out and do, you know, when they go back into their organisations and their workplaces, they take this knowledge with them. And they're actually able to embed that in, in, broad, in hospitals, in clinics, in universities, in other places, and help spread that transfer of knowledge of how to actually take something through, to how to take an idea of how you might do something to really solve a problem to fruition. And that gets me excited, because if we can do that at scale, 
across a state and across a nation, then we have a really transformative society. We have a really op big opportunity to make a huge impact on the quality of life for people, particularly in, in healthcare and, and with you know the population and the challenges that we are facing these days. So. It's really exciting. Tonight at Sakata Innovations in New South Wales, we've heard some amazing stories from the graduates and founders of the MDCTP's 2019 graduate program. We've also heard from the new CEO of Sakata Innovations, Sally Ann Williams. We've also got more stories that we've captured. So stay tuned. My name is Ann Dow and thank you very much for watching.